if we're going to do quarterbacks, oh, it's really hard because back of the envelope, obviously yeah. you have Joe Montana. Obviously you have Brady. Brady. Now, I think here's Johnny Unitas for sure feels like a blue blood quarterback to me. His blue blood is old school. Yeah, no, you need Unitas. Bradshaw, Staubach, yeah. done, done. Did you say Peyton yet? Peyton, no, six. Peyton, John Elway, eight. seven. Dan Marino, eight. Boom. Who are we leaving off? Is there anyone that can break into that group? Blue Bloods. Mahomes is still playing. Rodgers, yeah. not quite. Drew Brees. Mm. No. If Rodgers isn't in, the Brees isn't in. Uh, you know, Otto Graham is probably a little too old school. Bart Starr is too old school. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, Bart Starr, Otto Graham, Johnny Unitas. I mean. Well, Unitas, so to me, is the greatest of that group. He's going to be, I think we should put him on our representative. I think Bart Starr probably gets in. Yeah, no, but Unitas is way better. Bart Starr's career high in touchdowns is about 12 touchdowns. I know, but. <laughs> Unitas is way, way, way higher on yes. the quarterback list. So, yeah, I don't think you could put Bart Starr. Because Bart Starr, the running backs were the stars on that team. You yeah. have Marino, right? I have Marino. Marino's my eighth. Yeah. Are we missing anyone? Montana, Brady, Unitas, Bradshaw, Staubach, Manning, Elway, Marino. Yeah, I mean, okay, so who's not on that list? Bart Starr, Steve Young, Joe Namath, Kenny Stabler. Those guys are not quite there. Yeah. I'm trying to think of super famous. Oh, Favre. Ah, Favre. What do you do with Favre? What do you do with Brett Favre? Dr. Z always left him off. Dr. Z voted against him for the Hall of Fame because he had too many interceptions. My old <laughs> protege, my yeah. old mentor at Sports Former Illustrated. SI. Legend. So, <laughs> which I thought was a little, a little personal for Dr. Z, as most things were. Favre's close. Favre's close, but who do you knock off? Well, I mean, that doesn't mean we have to have a set amount. Well, you had 18. He said six. Ryan said six. Oh, he said six? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he said six. Yeah. Yep. Oof. You guys have any add-ons here, youngsters over there? Like, is your blue blood going to be like <sighs> Trevor Lawrence? Your guys <laughs> no. <crazy> <laughs> well, I, I was a little surprised when you had eight. I I felt okay with Bradshaw. I'm not putting Bradshaw in six. Oh, so underrated. Terry he's underrated, Bradshaw but he's not top. Um, he's not six. And the blue bloods of quarterback. Because to me, when I think of the Steelers, I think of defense. You're talking about mm. Bart Starr and their offense being around the running no, but, game. Bartsar, look at Bartsar's stats. You're going to be shocked. The yeah, dude but... never threw the football. No, I and, I, and I don't even disagree with that. I'm just saying, if we use that same case, I think you could use the same case for the Steelers and those yeah, Steel Bradshaw, Curry defenses they... and Franco Harris. Yeah, yeah but so Bradshaw cool. had stepped up in the Super Bowl and was insane in all these Super Bowls. I mean, relatively insane. And Staubach didn't have nearly success, but he's Staubach. He's Roger he's Staubach. He's an icon, yeah. Yeah, he's an icon, exactly. Yeah. I, like, Troy Aikman is not on there. No, no, no. But uh, you know what's interesting, EJ? It's a good choice of words. Guys like Dan Marino and John Elway are icons too. Yeah, I mean Marino and Elway have to be on there. Oh, how about your guy Jim Kelly? Well, Jim Kelly. Couple well, listen, I love Jim Kelly. It's not exactly the same. Needed a ring, well, maybe. Thank you. No, I, <laughs> yes. but Marino I, did it because it was different with Marino. Marino's, yeah, it's just a little bit above. Isn't that interesting? Wow. I mean, I wanna, I wanna really stump here for Jim Kelly, but he. He means the world to Buffalo. I, he just doesn't get mentioned in these conversations. It actually bothers me more when Bruce Smith doesn't get mentioned when we talk about great pass rushers mm -hmm. more than it bothers me when Jim Kelly doesn't get mentioned as great with but, the yeah. best quarterbacks ever. I think feel like Bruce Smith does get it. I mean, Bruce Smith gets it a, a lot of attention. I, yeah, but some people don't put him like top five. I don't get that. What? Okay. Okay. Didn't he have the record for a long time? Yeah, he did have the sack record for a long time. Okay. Uh, I'm just looking. Fran Tark is number 11 on this maybe list. Maybe Ack wants to get in on this yeah. conversation. Blue blood quarterbacks. Here's Blue. our list so far. Montana, Brady, Unitas, Bradshaw, Staubach, Marino, Elway, Peyton Manning. Otto Graham. Yeah. I know. Norm Van Brock. Yeah. Uh, Way back. <laughs> Staubach. Was, we have him. He was on there. Uh, our caller Nick said six. We have eight. Eight. Hmm. Who, wait, who's the other one, EJ, who you would take off or I, Stu? If we're going six, I would take Bradshaw's the first guy that's getting off. And then that who's list the next one? So tough. Marino? I can't take Dan Marino off. Wait, Ak, the, educate, the these, again? <laughs> educate these youngsters on the impact Terry Bradshaw had on the NFL. Four Super Bowls. Enough said. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and honestly, he was he was the number one pick, right? He's probably he was number one pick. He had a little bit of a slow development his first couple of years, adjusting to life under Chuck Knoll. But once it got in gear, yeah. it, the, the the 
you know, the truck was moving. He was he. Who is better, Terry Bradshaw or Roger Staubach? I feel I, like Bradshaw was just a little bit better. I, you know, it's it's apples and oranges. Um, you know, it's hard to you know because Staubach's right behind him in terms of. I mean, he played. Did Staubach play in five Super Bowls? He won two. Um, but Staubach was Staubach was terrific, but they were just so different. Staubach was impossible to take down. He led the two-minute drill before there was a two-minute drill, um, which is another one, mm. and I, he was unbelievable in comebacks. Well, so. he, here's the thing, though, about with Ackerman saying Terry Bradshaw, four Super Bowls, enough said. Maybe we should revisit Kelly. I know he didn't win the Super Bowls, but mm. do you have to revisit that if he made four? By the way, the Bart Starr is definitely – getting a little attention here in the chat. Thomas L. Bart Starr was the MVP in the first two Super Bowls or the Bart Starr that dropped four touchdown passes on Dallas in the 66 championship game. Uh, five NFL championships to his credit. I know. Yeah, I'm just saying. I, I hear you. He was a great winner. But is he even is he even a top two Green Bay Packers quarterback all time? Probably not. Well, I mean, there's no list that has Bart Starr above Aaron Rodgers as far as better quarterbacks. No, because it, it, it's so uh, to me, it's so comparing apples and oranges. On it, you can't even compare different eras. Totally different, right? But Bart Starr, I mean, obviously the running backs were the most famous players on yeah. those yeah. offenses. It's Hornig and and Taylor and. But now, where where you had to have a running game back then, especially in Green Bay, now it's a passing league. So it's right. But it was Bart. Wait, okay, uh, Bart Starr's career high in passing touchdowns was sixteen. Well, I know, but, also less but games. I mean, there are, there are a lot of yeah, Johnny, <laughs> less less games. Good good call by yeah, Ackerman. Unitas and Namus uh, had big big seasons. I mean, yeah. Listen, Marino was thrown for five thousand yards right before anyone was doing that. Well, yeah, I mean, that was 1984. I'm saying in the fifties and sixties, Johnny Unitas put up huge numbers. He's the way greater quarterback. I mean, Johnny Unitas has inspires films where Bart Starr was part of this other thing. What? Oh, I can't believe I'm arguing this. Johnny and I told, <laughs> this Johnny is the most United relevant was, sports U. topic we could find. Today. Johnny, Johnny U inspired others to play quarterback. Johnny U is talking about icon. Yeah. I don't. I've never seen Johnny United play. I've seen some highlights. Yeah, right. The but greatest that, game ever, right? The, yeah, and that Against name just means so much yeah. more. Also, United. he was. It's funny because through the lore of M- NFL films, Unitas goes down as this guy. He he just looked like. The, the blue-collar guy gutting out every play, just slinging it around when, when the Colts needed something. And, and, I, and I think that is legend grows in terms of that. And, you know, look, as I said, he inspired others to play quarterback. So. I met him once. Wow. On some car dealerships uh, with someone who was in my hometown, Binghamton, New York, and got to shake his hand, and it was like a mangled tree <laughs> of a hand. I remember that as a child. That's all I remember. Probably got it stuck in a couple of face masks. Yeah, something like yeah. that. Uh, Consistent haircut, too. You got to give a man who goes the same thing <laughs> wire to wire a lot of credit. That's like playing your whole career for yeah. one team. It's just like really rare to have the yeah. same haircut your whole life. You know who No might, phases. You know who will be in this list? I think Patrick Mahomes eventually makes this list. And I don't even think that's a hot take. No. I think of all the guys playing recent, I think he yeah, gets in. He's the heir apparent to Brady as, as the GOAT. Definitely. Uh, anyone else from that? Anyone else playing currently? Uh, I looked at. I'm looking at a list of top 25 quarterbacks. Favre is very high on this list. He's pretty. So he. There's nothing about Favre that screams blue blood, though. No, <laughs> right, right. It just that him and that term do not go together. Yes, that's a really good point. Fran Tarkenton is on a lot of people's lists. Seeing uh, it in the chat, a little Warren Moon was underrated. I Warren, Warren Moon's Moon like yeah. top twenty on this list. Not, not nearly, not near, and not in the class of those. Can I make a case with Drew Brees? I mean, is he yeah. all time, or maybe he's got past the all time leading passing yards? He was <laughs> Brady, 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 Brady just passed him up recently. I mean, yeah. talk about winning. I mean, his teams were winning 10, 11 games every year. He does have a Super Bowl. I mean, but Rodgers, then you have to put in because if you, yeah. yeah, you know, you'd have to. I think Rodgers I just, is better than Brees. I guess to me though. Rod- like Breeze got to play in a dome. Rogers playing out in Green Bay. But everything about Rogers, not mm-hmm. everything, but a lot of Rogers' career feels like a what should have been. Yeah. As opposed to with Breeze, it feels like this is someone who maxed out right. their entire potential. Like, Absolutely. He's a guy who was short. He was a guy who played on you know the Chargers and the Saints of all organizations, and yet look at what he accomplished. Yeah. Like but- for me, like I almost would raise Breeze up a little for that. Yeah. And Breeze was much better at home, though. And also, to your point, EJ, about what might have been, I think you with the, with their playoff losses, there's a little of what might have been, too. Yeah, yeah, a stretch there where they were 8-8 eight and 8-8 eight and 8-8, eight and eight and eight and eight, yeah, a little bit, you know? Well, I think, by the way, I, I, we should go old school, too. Let's not forget Sammy Baugh. And the only reason I say that is because if you have the name Slingin' in front of your name, <laughs> you're a blue boy. Yeah. 
<laughs> they had better nicknames back then. Yeah. Sling and Sammy Baugh? Yes, uh, absolutely. Yeah, they uh, they could Pete throw the Manning rock. Manning always pounds the table for Sammy Baugh. Oh, he does? Yeah, Actually, I was, was kind of joking, but he's high up on a lot of these lists. Well, Len uh, Dawson was another in yeah. the chat. But Big Ben is very high on a lot of these lists, too. It's like 13. He's right around Bart Starr. Another person I do not think of when I think <laughs> <No>. Blue Blood. <laughs> no. 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 Nothing about his whole situation makes me think Blue Blood quarterback. Wow. No. Here's a list. Philip Rivers is in the top 25. That is not a Blue Blood. But I, I love him. No. I want whatever the opposite of the blue blood. We that can... is interesting, though, because he had he won two Super Bowls. He was not great in the first. Talking yeah. about Dawson. No, but he's no, had Ben, ben Roethlisberger. Sorry, sorry. Ben, yeah. ben Roethlisberger. I, I, I maintain. I don't think Maggie. I think Ben Roethlisberger is somewhat underrated because I think his yeah. personality turned a lot of people off. Definitely, and he was mm-hmm. really good. Had the off the field issues as well. Yeah, yeah, that's why the league couldn't push him to the front because right. he had two things. And he was, and he had to play against Brady and Manning, who were so unbelievable. But the Steelers were right there every year, yeah. and he was he was a very up until the end, basically. Yeah. And the pounding he took, being able to play with with those injuries and the pounding and, and extending plays, and um, you know he's he's he definitely merits consideration. No, I remember. I mean, listen, doing a show with Bart Scott those years when he was on the Ravens, going against <laughs> up against Ben Roethlisberger, and that was like when we were still celebrating big hits and not flagging big hits absolutely by the way can we i like your idea of a not blue blood list who's the guys opposite like, like Favre. I, I, yeah like like uh eli's got the last name but he does not act like, like a stabler blue you know yeah, someone stabler. who just like wakes up god probably didn't know where he was shakes off like the bourbon and heads to the stadium and throws for like two, Fran Tarkenton. 300 yards yeah, yeah. yeah. Guys, guys gonna run around yeah. <laughs> you know <laughs> dutch uh four or five guys yeah. before making a play I hate to say it. I think Jim Jim Kelly. Uh, Jim Kelly might didn't be turn out a lot of beverages in his <laughs> no, career. No, no. Anybody who went to the University of Miami, I don't think it's a blue blood list. They get the, <laughs> the <laughs> other. Yeah, but Terry Bradshaw was, could fit in that. Yeah. Here's That's, a guy I, I'm going to go honorable mention for. I don't think he belongs there, but I loved him as a quarterback. And anybody who saw him play, well, I think, would say the same thing. Dan Fouts. Oh, yeah, Fouts. he's he's on a lot of these lists. Boy, he, I mean, he talk about. It. I mean, they were the Chargers of the late seventies, early eighties. They were they were ahead of their time with with throwing the ball. And or, Don Coryell's not in the Hall of Fame. No, he just made but it. He in, just made it, it yeah, in, I feel, right? Yeah. I, I Why feel like that take so it. long? I mean, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, yeah. like if they had a better defense, they might have they might have been you know up there. Uh, they definitely would have would have won a Super Bowl. The better. Would you defense. if you're going honorable mentions though? Now don't we have to get into the Steve Young territory too? Yeah, yeah. he's not far Nobody off at all. Too. 